DB30 Sports TV at the Football Content Awards, Part 2. Yes, hello everyone and welcome to a new video on, on the channel and uh, for once, uh, based on what the last few videos have been like, this one actually is uh, relatively cheerful because um, we uh, got the official confirmation today that uh, for the second year running, um, this channel will be heading to uh, the Football Content Awards in the Best in Non-League Video category. Uh, the awards ceremony this year is taking place on Thursday the 21st of November at the uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, so... Uh, Going to be uh, heading down to uh, London for that and uh, before the, I sort of ramble on a little bit, uh, the first thing I would just like to say is uh, thank you so much to uh, anyone out there that uh, nominated me for this. I uh, really, really uh, do appreciate it. Um, so uh, yeah, let's just uh, sort of crack on with the rest of this video and I think the first thing uh, we've got to sort of touch upon is that I think this year it probably was maybe a little bit more sort of difficult to uh, make the final cut than uh, what it was last year and I think that is down to uh, a change in the uh, sort of nomination and uh, sort of final cut process uh, like I think it was irrelevant how many nominations you actually got because uh, ultimately it did come down to uh, judges decisions so uh, I think yeah, last year maybe went to Anfield with a little bit of imposter syndrome, not going to lie. But uh, this year, I think, um, yeah, I think since last year, I've definitely worked harder at, at the channel. Um, I've, um, I think the overall standard of videos has improved, and I hope you agree with me on that. So uh, maybe now, uh, for once, I can look myself in the mirror and just think, you know what, you're there for a reason. Um, I mean, once again, it is going to be exceptionally tough. I was looking through... Who else is in the category today? And uh, yeah, there's some absolutely exceptional talent in there. But uh, you know, I'm kind of proud to be alongside some of that talent. Um, like this, um, like you sort of look through it. I think uh, Adam Gittins is really worthy of his place there this year. Um, I think I've kind of become quite pally with him over the last year or so. We kind of have a, an unofficial pact on Twitter where we'll uh, share each other's videos around. Uh, Robbie Holmes, uh, last year's winners. Going to be there, to Blair McNally. Um, yeah, so there's going to be uh, obviously a bunch of amateurs, uh, like some big name channels like that, and so on. So uh, it's going to be a tough category once again, but uh, you guys can make a difference. Um, and all you have to do is uh, click the link provided in the description and uh, scroll down to the best in non-league video category and vote for the uh, db30 sports tv um you don't have to fill in any of your details you can be totally anonymous with this uh, so if you don't want to fill in your name and email address at the bottom that's absolutely fine uh, you can stay anonymous but uh, once again i would just like to thank you all for getting me into this position once again uh like um i don't think uh, um I, I, like this year I, I don't i'm not asking the question can it be done instead i'm thinking it can be done because uh i, I know how hard i've worked so i don't mean to sound arrogant so apologies if it is uh coming across that way but uh i saw like what it was like last year so uh you know what um like, and I think this year, as I said, I have worked harder and uh, yeah, this is uh, hopefully can be seen as something of uh, maybe a reward for the fact that back in January I did do that uh, Newton A Cliff against Hawden game at, at the downhill hub, uh, all, the, all, the, all the rain, all the wind and whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, just yeah, absolutely buzzing to have the opportunity again. Um, uh, just keep with the channel whatever happens uh, because there is going to be some great stuff to come throughout the rest of the season and beyond uh, i know as i'm speaking right now where uh, the channel maybe is in a little bit of a rough patch in terms of uh, the entertainment value of certain games and the fact that there's been a couple of ropey results for gates that have late but uh as we've seen time and time again throughout the seasons uh like the tide does turn on those things and uh, hopefully that is 
going to come soon, but regardless, there's a lot of exciting stuff in in, in England, in Scotland. I assume Motherwell got to Hamden at the weekend, so they're looking forward to going to the semi-final against Rangers. Um, you know, the, if, uh, at least three trips abroad still to come this season. Um, so there's a lot to come, so just stick with us and, uh, yeah, the, the, good, the good times will roll on and uh, hopefully uh, we will have... Um, like either a a a, a plaque to go on the wall or a little glass trophy to show for it. Um, but uh, that is that for this video, and I'll be back uh, tomorrow night with the uh, Gateshead versus Boston United game, providing the weather that doesn't put pay to that. Uh, as we said, a, a couple of difficult results for the heat of late, but uh, again, uh, another opportunity to uh, head back in the right direction. Check back tomorrow to find out if we, if we can do that. But until then, take care. Cheers for watching. Uh, thank you once again. See you later.